Hey, you got a great question. Um, a guy messaged over on my Instagram, uh, Brian Keen Fitness, about calf training. How can you get bigger calves? Um, going to do a video because this is really fresh in my head because one of my online clients, Andy in Switzerland, we have the same thing coming into his new his new program where we're going to try and build, bring up his calves. Um, so I know it's something that a lot of people struggle with. I, I don't know if this is mainly a guy thing because I don't generally hear it too often from my girls. Um, so I'm going to tell you what works for my guys. It's the same principle works for girls, but this is just... 99 out of 100 times it's been guys that ask me this question so the majority of the unless you're genetically bad through your calves so like very very high calves so people that have like where your foot say is here that's just the length of your foot and your calves are way 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 up your foot you if you genetically get high calves it's obviously gonna be a lot harder for you but again, no more than the 99 that ask. 99 of 100 people that ask me are just not training them properly um some people are genetically weak but the majority of people are just not training it properly. I've seen people, calves and abs are the two most wrongly trained body parts that I've seen people train in the gym. Um, I've talked about ab training before, about how people are like, fucking hanging out, banging out reps with their neck and hips and not working their abs. Calves are the same. I've literally seen people go in and load a Smith machine or load a leg press or load a seated calf raise with a fucking million bajillion fucking kilos um, and start moving this shit up and down not putting any fucking tension. Think about it this logically. Now, I, I get the point of over of lifting heavy on calves because the reality is you're, you're walking around your calves all day. They should be able to shift, easily shift whatever your body weight is. Um, so I'm around the 87, 88, touching 90 kilo mark, depending if I've been fucking eating shit loads of ice cream. Um, and it, 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 I should in theory be able to lift, you know, 180 kilos on a seated calf raise because I should be able to do double it, you know. But the reality is that's not creating any tension on the muscle. The fibers that are in your calf are not dissimilar to the fibers in your stomach. And um, short contractions and keeping tension on the muscle, this goes for every fucking muscle, but particularly those small fast twitch fiber muscles, your abs, your calves, um, your, your inside, your, your biceps to a degree because they're smaller muscles um, are going to work better to like a pulse um, and a and tension on the muscle. So what I advise you to do, you can spot my clients a mile away, particularly my guy clients and my, my uh, because they, their calves are normally popping because I have nearly all of them doing this tension style training. So basically what people do on a calf raise, so if this is your calf and you're doing say a uh, calf raise, this is what you fucking do. You know, you bring your foot all the way up, you squeeze your calf and you drop it all the way down. Giving yourself a fucking rest on every single rep. What I recommend you do is, this is your plane of motion. Start here and then move the weight up. Hold, squeeze the top of your calf and then bring it back down and keep it parallel. Keep it in the same line as the floor. Do not let your leg drop because every time you drop it, you are releasing 100% of the tension on your calf, not eliciting enough fiber tears for that muscle to even respond. Even if you load it with a fucking million bajillion kilos, you know? So what I say is, I'm, I'll give you an idea for what I do. I use to see the calf raise, I put 20 kilos on the calf raise and then I do a contraction, hold, squeeze through my calves at the top, and then I drop it parallel to the floor so that it's level, so that it never drops past here. The same on a leg press. When you're pressing on a leg press, push up through your calves on the leg press, and then keep it parallel so that it's in line with the machine, so it's not dropping all the way back and you're taking all the tension off. So keep the tension on the muscle. Also, again, fast twitch fibers are gonna to respond to higher rep ranges. So, you know, if you've got a slow twitch fiber, obviously they're gonna respond probably to a heavier weight. You know, things like your back, technically your chest, your legs. Theory says that, the, you know, that they will, again, it's, it's context and, and person per person based, but in theory, in a book will tell you that you should use your, you know, bigger muscles will respond to heavier weight. And there's, there's, there's truth to that. Um, but every context and every person is different. But in terms of calves, I have found for me and the majority of people I've worked with, working that higher rep range, so 15, 20, 25 reps, I normally go to 100 reps on calves, but there are 100 good fucking reps, um, not like this fucking 100 sit-ups that people do, you know, 100 whole squeeze reps and break it up as you go along. I normally do like four sets of 25, but and the same with clients, but make sure you are keeping the tension on the muscle. Do not count your reps, make the reps count. You know, it's a quote I read from, I think, Rob Riches a while back. Um, and, it's a, it, you know, it works. You know, every rep you're doing should have a purpose. Make sure that every rep is a quality rep on your calves. They will not be that long responding. You know, genetically, they tend to respond slower than most. And people are always like, I can't bring up my calves. But start training them properly. And the reality is, no more than your abs, they're a priority. You can do your fucking calves every day. 
Red Heads are walking around in them every single day. You know, they're getting worked. So they're one of those muscle groups that you can hit them at the end of every single training session and probably not have a uh, really bad response. The only thing I'll tell you is the first time you do this type of training where you're not dropping it all the way down, be fucking careful. You've got to wake up and go to take a piss or something in the middle of the night because the first time I ever did that, it was in my contest prep for my first Miami Pro show um, and I was doing this tension training on my calves. I remember getting up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and my two legs buckling from under me and I fucking fell to the side of my bed. Um, so be careful because it just contracted and tightened up. If you get that, at least you know that you what you did was right and you're on the right track. Um, so try that. That's my main tip is train your calves properly. Keep the tension on the muscle. Keep the reps high um, and they won't be that long growing. Any questions? Uh, I'll be replying in the next 24 hours. Please like and share the page. Thanks for watching.